Hello and welcome to Kerbal Swiss Ram News. This time it's version 1.1 for real. Let's jump right in with the biggest changes. Optimization. The game has been massively optimized. Stations that used to run at 4 FPS now run at 10 FPS. Okay, that doesn't sound like much, but it's cutting the lag in half or more. On top of that, we have a completely new interface due to the upgrade to Unity 5, which means everything is a lot more refined, with more detail and easier to use. What does that mean? Well, the tracking station looks like this, and research looks like this, the space center looks like this, and the administration building looks like this. Also, the right-click menus during flight will stay in one place and can even be locked open so you don't have to reopen them every time you want to right-click another part. Oh, and don't forget the VAB slash SPH, which now have scrollable menus instead of pages, and a text search functionality that can even track keywords and return appropriate results. Try searching for reverse jet engine, and you get jet engines with thrust reversers. Neat! Also, the upgrade to Unity 5? We have 64-bit builds now, and they're here to stay. A great thing about them is the game runs smoother in 64-bit, not to mention we can now load the game full of mods without having to worry about running out of memory. Okay, okay, parts. What's new? Wheel physics. Wheels work a lot more realistically now, including how they slide, roll, and break. There's also a new inflatable heat shield part that goes from 2.5 meters stowed to 10 meters inflated. Fairings will now lock their contents in place and have an option for clamshell jettison instead of confettiing apart. There's also a new landing gear. Note that some of the older landing gear models have traded places and the original landing gear model is going bye-bye. Additionally, the rocket parts are getting revamped, although I'm not 100% sure if this is making it into 1.1 or not. Oh, and those parts from the asteroid discovery mod are getting put in stock. Also, there's this. I don't know if it will be in the release, or if so, what form it will be in, but it looks really freaking cool, especially when you see this. Finally, you don't have to worry about your saves breaking. Squad are being careful not to do this now that we're out of early access and onto a full game. The contract system has received some love too, but see the description for more info on that and more. Okay, two quick notes I want to mention. The tier 0 buildings may be coming back, but this was mentioned a long time back and I haven't seen anything more yet. They may be planning a surprise or they may have been pushed back further. Same thing with the engine internals. Oh, and remember the antennae I teased in the last news video? Sorry, they didn't make it into 1.1 either, but look at these screenshots. Pretty cool, huh? Thanks for watching, and as always, I will see you in space. Special thanks to Iru, or however you say you are, why you, you, see the description for credits, for the music right here at the end that I'm doing right now. Also, I don't normally ask for this, but since these videos take an extremely long time to make, please like, favorite, and consider subscribing if you enjoyed this. Also, take a look at my channel, you know, maybe it's not the best thing for you, but I do play a lot of games, and I also will be making games. And so, you know, if you like programming, if you like gaming, if you like when programming and gaming come together, my channel might be the right place for you. Or not. Whatever. Hope you enjoyed!